Hi friends! Today we went over in class the Math Toolkit Part 1 and the guiding question is what types of tools will we use as mathematicians? And what you needed to have with you was your math notebook and your pencil. So the agenda, I'm going to skip down, was to take a calming breath. We set up our math notebooks and then we took notes on the math tools numbers 1 through 4 and then we applied um, these math tools to a problem and then we practiced sharing our screen so that when we um, participate in small groups and I have materials for you you can see them and pull them up for yourselves. So if you need to know how to set up your math book, notebook look for that video. It's a separate video. Um, but very quickly, right? You label the first pages A, B, and C. You titled them Table of Contents and then you numbered the first 50 pages. So really the bulk of our lesson today was looking at math tools numbers one through four. So our first math tool was persevere. This setup is what your um, notebook should look like. We'll just kind of make this shape. So whatever is written here, whatever is written here is what you are going to write in your notebook. Okay, so that is what your notebook should look like. So number one is persevere. I can solve problems without giving up. As mathematicians, we need to work hard and continue to try in order to solve problems. Our second math tool is represent. And so what represent means, and you're going to copy this down in your notebook, is I can think about numbers in many ways. I can think about numbers in many ways. So that just means you can represent a number in a variety of different representations. Okay, number three, our third tool, is explain. I can explain my thinking and try to understand others. So again, you're going to write this in your notebook. And what this means is it's not just that you get the answer or that you get the answer correct. It's that you can explain and tell us how you came to that answer and that you listen to others. And if there is something with their answer that you're not sure of, you can ask and explore um, how they came to their answer as well. Okay, the last thing you're going to write in your notebook is model. And that's the last tool, tool number four for today. I can show my work in many different ways. So you can model what one half looks like. You can draw a pie and cut it in half. You can shade in one box out of two. So there's many different ways that you can show your work. Next, we made connections. We looked at this poster and we tried to connect um, modeling, explaining, representation, or perseverance. And a lot of you said that some of these um, examples were showing how to model the number five, and some of them were showing how to represent the number five, and some of them were related to how to explain what five is or the concept of the number five. So tomorrow, we're going to go ahead and move on to our Math Toolkit Part 2 and look for that video tomorrow. That's all for now. Bye, friends.